Hi, Dumos Bros. We got to talk about testosterone, how to raise your testosterone. I'm not going to get all scientific, but I'm going to show you some of the things that I do in my life. I call this the High Dumos Lifestyle that is going to make you feel like an absolute beast, okay? And you got to feel like that because the world is trying to bitch you up, man. It's trying to take away your testosterone, your vigor, and vitality. Now, look, when you have those things, you're more of a leader. You're less of a submissive, weak man. It's easier to be in a relationship. Your girl looks at you in awe. She looks at you as the man. When you have high testosterone and you're, you're feeling it, you're living it, you don't have anything to worry about. There's no need to worry. But if you become bitched up, you become more of a consumer. First of all, you're better for the market because you become more of a follower and less of that leader status where you need to now worry about what other people think and so you buy things you start playing the status game instead of living life on your own terms you start worrying so much you become more controllable the world wants you to be more controllable and it'll take advantage of you okay you're more likely to just be submissive to your boss to kind of just go with the flow get a college degree work a nine-to-five the higher testosterone is less agreeable okay it is going to make your life extremely better your relationships your finances your freaking body is going to feel amazing and you're going to give off this charisma this strength and this this uh this aura about you I mean, your woman's going to pick up on that women are going to pick up on you employers are going to pick up on it it's what men need in the world we got to reclaim this so here's some things i'm going to show you that i do if you'd like to try them put them in your life and and just see how you feel Please do and let me know. Let's get to this video. First off, we guys talk about the mornings. Wake up, go outside, five to 10 minutes, that's all you need. But you need to get some sunlight in your eyes, okay? Just staring out of the window does not do this and have the same effect, okay? You need actually sunlight hitting your skin, hitting your eyeballs is going to increase your testosterone, increase your dopamine. You guys wanna go deeper on this? There's an Andrew Huberman podcast. I'll link you down below in the description. All right, so five to 10 minute walk. It's just gonna make you feel great. Clear your head with a walk. Every man needs this. Every man needs time alone. Get away from your woman. Get away from your pets. Get away from the children. Go take a five to 10 minute walk. Thank God for whatever blessings you have. Have some gratitude, you know, in the sun. Get some vitamin D and get ready for your day. Next up, we have the workouts. Now, you do your own workouts, you do your bodybuilding, you do your push, pull, leg, split, whatever. All I'm saying is that I think you should add a carries workout to your week, okay? Now, I'm gonna post the high through most carry workout that I do every Sunday down below. I highly recommend that you try this. All of the guys in our men's group, our Discord, we're doing this one time a week. It feels like your nervous system is being baptized. By the time you get done, you feel that your testosterone is elevated, you feel like you can conquer the world. It's amazing, all right? Here's a few clips, very simple. If you don't have the uh, certain bars, try to use a hex bar, you can use dumbbells or kettlebells, whatever, but try this workout once a week. You're gonna feel like a new man. All right, guys, we gotta talk about nutrition real quick. We need fat, okay? Fat, cholesterol, it's gonna help us boost our testosterone. Stop thinking that fat is bad for you. This is grass-fed butter packed with vitamin k2 packed with omegas all right you guys don't be afraid of adding butter man add butter to your toast get the grass-fed stuff though all right don't get that that other uh weak sauce get the grass-fed stuff cook with your eggs put it on butter eat butter whenever you want it's good it's actually going to help you lose weight it's good for you all right eat it i love eggs i recommend that you eat a couple eggs cholesterol fat really good source of protein gonna make you feel great stop sleeping on your eggs Sardines, you already know what it is, baby. This is the goat fish, all right? Sardines in olive oil. I love these omega-3s, healthy fats. You're going to feel 
like a beast when you get that 22 grams of muscle building protein in your system, okay? Super easy to eat. These are relatively cheap. You pop, pop them open, maybe throw some hot sauce on there, and you're good to go. If you have not tried sardines because you think they're gross, just try them, okay? You're, you're probably going to like them. Listen, I don't care what the vegans on this channel say about ground beef. I'm going to continue eating ground beef, okay? Packed with nutrients, healthy fat, good protein, and I always get extremely hard boners the next morning after I eat ground beef. I'm not going to exhaust this list. I'm just going to throw some things out that I really think will help. We got to consider our gut health. I recommend sauerkraut, okay? This is really tasty. You put it on your beef and rice. You can even throw it in your eggs. It tastes amazing. Uh, you might not like it at first, but again, just eat a little bit. You don't need a lot. Just eat a freaking bite full and then chug your water, swallow it down whole. This is going to make your gut bacteria uh, healthy and uh, you're going to feel really good. Another fermented food, kimchi. Okay, kimchi, I've recently started eating this and I think I like this better than sauerkraut. It's spicy. The Koreans, I believe, eat this all the time. Anyway, uh, I love this stuff, try it out. Here's my supplement cabinet and I'm gonna show you guys what I think you should be taking. Zinc, you don't need 50 milligrams. I usually take about a half a tablet after dinner. Keep in mind, take this after you eat a big meal or you will become nauseous and puke because it makes your stomach very upset if you, you take it on an empty stomach. All right, so I would take zinc. If you're low in zinc, you're deficient in zinc, you will actually notice an instantaneous boost in testosterone, okay? I take a B complex in the morning. I take vitamin D, not every day. I don't think it's good to take vitamin D every single day, especially if you're out in the sun. I highly recommend that you guys get a magnesium. Magnesium glycinate is uh, magnesium bind binded to glycine helps absorb better. Magnesium citrate is cheaper. I would stay away from magnesium oxidate um, or oxide. So magnesium is crucial, essential. Over 300 uh, actions performed in the body need magnesium, okay? If you're lacking it, you're gonna feel muscle cramps. It's gonna be hard to breathe. You're gonna feel tension. When you take this, it, I would just say, it makes you feel comfortable in your skin, okay? Ashwagandha proven to boost testosterone, okay? I take about one of these a day. The serving is two, but I don't know. I don't think I need to. It's a daily adaptogenic herb, helps your body adapt to stress, and I recommend ashwagandha, okay? I get this from Costco. I get all my food from Costco, actually. Um, that's about it. I take this for joints, glucosamine, sometimes when I, uh, when I was getting these little aches and stuff from jujitsu, but that's about it. Oh, and uh, turmeric, turmeric is healthy, helps inflammation response. So that's how my supplements look. If I was gonna recommend anything, I would say get the, get the magnesium, okay? And get some zinc. If you wanna add, add the ashwagandha. If you're getting your sun in the morning, then you, you don't really need D3. I don't think you should take this every day. Um, some doctors say, you know, it can build up and actually causes problems, especially if you don't get enough K vitamins. Boys, I forgot to show you creatine, all right? All natty, baby. Creatine, creatine monohydrate, well studied. Guys, you're going to get an instantaneous, I would say 10% strength boost from this. Your muscles are going to feel more full and you're going to actually, they say it has some cognitive enhancing uh, behaviors. <laughs> Your cognitive function is enhanced, and it also boosts testosterone. Creatine, if you're not taking it, dude, why aren't you, okay? It's like 5 to 10 bucks for some creatine monohydrate. has a great ton of benefits, so try it. Stop sleeping on it. Boom. Nose strips. Change your sleep game, all right? I get extra strength because i got a big old nose, and I need these suckers to just hold on to it as I sleep. Uh, so if you have sleep apnea, man, you're waking up, you're not getting really deep, nourishing, replenishing sleep, it's actually your testosterone is going to get affected. These things can do wonders, okay? No joke, you put one of these before you go to sleep, you breathe easier, you get a deeper sleep, and you wake up just feeling refreshed. I highly recommend you guys try these out. Look, a man has got to compete, dude. We've got to be competitive. We have competitiveness inside of us. Okay, and competitiveness in warfare, war zone, is not going to cut it, dude. You need competitiveness. And as we get older, not many of us are being competitive. We're watching other men on the screen being competitive, all right, which I have an idea or an, I think that watching that too much actually sort of makes you feel like an old man, okay, and it kind of like dries you up. You need vitality, dude. You need to be out there competing. I recommend jujitsu, all right? I've done this, talked about it before. You, you're either going to do it or not. Okay, so if you're going to do it, I highly recommend it. Here's a clip from it. It's changed my life. I love it. But get competitive, dude. Even if it's competitive ping pong, 
Have something you're going and you're getting better at and you're competing with other men. You're like trying to outdo them. You're trying to overcome the challenge, dude. You need that and actually boost your testosterone as you're growing, as you're getting older. So get competitive. Find a way to be, introduce competition in your life. Notice how I haven't told you so far what not to do, okay? Because that's up to you, dude. We know that smoking marijuana excessively all the time can actually lower testosterone. It's a reason for getting those bitch tits, okay? We know that watching prawn is going to mess up your dopamine receptors, okay? And probably make you feel like a freaking cuck because you're busy watching these guys banging these girls that you're not banging, okay? We know that doing drugs and drinking alcohol, beer especially, is estrogenic. And so you probably shouldn't drink beer all the time. I love beer, dude. I like a nice IPA, you know? I'm, I like a nice craft beer. It's great. But if I do it all the time, I'm paying the consequences. I'm telling you what you can do, what you can add to your life. It's up to you what you need to cut out because it's affecting that fire in the belly, all right? There's a few things off the top of my head. Not to be redundant, you got to sleep. Eight to nine hours, symbols that put your nose strip on. Boom, sleep good, all right? Next, do cold showers boost testosterone? Probably very, very small amount, but it can help with recovery. But my favorite thing is that it just wakes you up and it makes you feel good, okay? So a cold shower, it's the freaking summer, dude. Come on, you know, unless it's you're in Alaska or something, and it's snowing, and it's freezing, it's not that bad, big of a deal. So a little cold water on you, it feels nice. feels good on the skin, feels good on the hair. Um, it makes your blood flowing, you know? So uh, other than that, man, you, you know, you can sun your balls, you can eat oysters, you can put an ice pack on your nuts, like all these guys are saying. But look, at the end of the day, you gotta live this shit, man. You gotta live the high through most lifestyle. You gotta wake up, you gotta go to work, you gotta do your one thing that you know to do to get you where you wanna be, uh, you know, and start just like, be competitive, man, get out there, Treat your body well. Eat good food. Crush it. Use this energy. Put it into something, all right? That's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your testosterone-boosting additional habits down below, and I'll see you soon. Peace.